Regina's executive committee was discussing sponsorships and advertisements when fossil fuel companies were added to the prohibited list. This means the city won't ask for or accept sponsorships or advertisements from fossil fuel sellers and producers. They can still sponsor private events and advertise within city limits. Councillor Dan LeBlanc first brought the motion forward. I think the city of Regina has been quite clear in recent years that one of our values is environmental sustainability. So it is inconsistent with our stated values to be associated with companies that continue to rely on and promote these sort of high carbon energy sources. Reaction to the vote was swift. Premier Scott Moe called it absurd and a hypocritical attack on the workers in the fossil fuel industry. Moe also threatened to pull millions of dollars that Regina gets from Crown corporations. Mr. Moe should stay in his lane and stay out of municipal politics, frankly. I would think he has bigger fish to fry with his handling of the COVID crisis. The Regina Chamber of Commerce is also against the proposal, saying it is short-sighted and sends the wrong message, especially considering the industry has generated $700 million in revenue to the provincial economy during the pandemic. From a marketing perspective, one expert says she isn't aware of city buildings or parks sponsored by energy companies in the first place. It seems a largely symbolic um, gesture in the sense that you can still have a billboard in the city or they could still sponsor um, any kind of event that was a private event in the city. So I think they are limited or are, are choosing to limit what they can um, disallow. To become official, City Council will have to approve the motion next week. And two councillors who initially voted yes say they are now having second thoughts and will likely change their votes to no next Wednesday. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Regina.